the the story I think you'll like that I heard from a, a retired engineer from Agent Court about Uncle Bobby was you know we've we've just said his his mo was that he was a G and he's looking for the moms and he's sort of using this this children's entertainer front and so in his later days he lived in an apartment building in, in uh, a part of Scarborough called Guildwood I don't know if you're familiar with that um, but anyways it was Halloween. And apparently Uncle Bobby was super excited about Halloween because it was this children would be coming up to his apartment. So he went he went out and he bought like boxes and boxes and boxes of candy. And, you know, this is probably the early 80s, not like now where it's very mainstream. You go and buy these Nestle boxes or whatever. And right. he, he put a lot of money into his candy collection. And then <laughs> even crazier, he, he cut his door in half. Um, and I believe they call it like a Dutch door, like where you have the sort of cut in the center. I've so seen that, these. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen top, like a TV shows and stuff. <laughs> so cartoon. Top of the door yeah. would open, and he had all this candy, and he was going to serve the candy to all these children. Right. And you know, he's probably went out and got a box of Glen Livet as well. So, anyways, Halloween night, he's sitting there, you know, crushing the Glen Livet, and uh, there's no kids showing up. And he's getting progressively more hammered and more vexed. And yeah. then finally at like 10 o'clock, he's like, the fuck is going on? And he goes down to the main uh, lobby and they're, and the security guard's like, oh, no, no, like we locked the doors on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so he had like ruined his front door and spent all this money and he got no satisfaction. That's a great story. I, I pray that that is true. I just hope that is you true. You know what? It's a such story. a weird story and the guy, <laughs> has to be cr- real. credit to the guy, he was not a fellow I sensed that would make something no. like that up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Bobby. I mean, look, I, I would love if there was footage enough to make a doc about Uncle Bobby because, you know, it's it's a bizarre thing. Well, guys our age... Uh, we have these memories of young boy watching Uncle Bobby. Like we all watched Uncle Bobby. Totally. But then and he it's gone and it's like all I have are the memories. Or the, maybe there's a rare clip on YouTube or whatever of Bimbo, which you couldn't name your clown Bimbo today, right? Like this is a product of his time. But the whole birthday thing, like that's what I remember is the birthday thing. And it's just man. Well, and like you said, it comes up on Twitter and you get people that you know, he <laughs> was a school bus driver as well, right? In the afternoon. He did Uncle Bobby in the morning. Did it all drove school buses. Did the moms, in the so did the bus driving. Did th- another all. great story is the kids uh left a message, these people, well they were kids in the in the seventies that said they saw Uncle Bobby driving a school bus and they were throwing rocks at him and you know, he hightailed it out of there. But like what a bizarre existence. <laughs> I think y- you may you might need a, a direct a film director like a Paul Thomas Anderson or something to yeah. do a, a fictional film about a kind of tragic character like Uncle Bobby. Oh, for sure.